So let this video be a reminder to check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Is your mental health stable? Are there areas in your life where you're putting too much of yourself? And have you been too hard on yourself lately? My name is Zaya. I am 21 years old. I am an artist, I am a witch, and I'm a part of the 26% of American adults that are living with mental illness. So I know it has been a minute since I've uploaded a video and that is because I was busy focusing all of my energy on surviving and healing. In the past couple months, my depression has kind of been getting the best of me and I really just needed, it got to a point where I needed to step away from a lot of the other things that were going on in my life and pretty much just put all of myself into being okay. And it took time and in fact it's something that I am still dealing with right now. I still have days where it just kind of consumes me and I just wanted to come here and tell you that it's okay. And I've known that this is the video that I've wanted to make for quite some time now and in fact I've been trying to make it. I've tried a few times. I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> My camera died. I think I've been rambling for 20 minutes. I've barely even talked about taking a break. And I just, I couldn't get it quite right. And I think that's, you know, a part because I'm still figuring out my style and, you know, figuring out things in my life, but also because I just mentally and emotionally just wasn't at a point where I could share this story or share any bits of advice. And I just feel like now I am at a point where I can share at least a little bit of something that I think would be really helpful to people. So I would really like to do that for you today. So without further ado, let's talk about taking a break from your spiritual practice. And this is something that I have seen a lot of questions be asked about. I'm in, you know, several Facebook groups about witchcraft and spirituality. And there have been a couple of occasions where people have expressed concern, you know, like I haven't been doing spells recently. I haven't really been doing my mantras, I haven't been doing yoga, like, you know, whatever it is that is a part of their regular practice, you know, I haven't been doing that. And like, is that, is it bad if I'm not doing that? Is it okay if I'm not doing that? Like, what's the deal? And so that's what I am addressing today is that question, like, is it okay to step back from your practice? And the answer is yes, it is completely okay. And it's because life is hard. Like life just doesn't stop being hard. There are times where it's easier and where things are really going really well but i think overall life is just difficult and that's just something that as humans is completely out of our control something that i've noticed especially for me but also for other people as well is that i think a lot of people have the tendency to bite off more than they can chew you know, because for whatever reason that may be, maybe they are people pleasers or they enjoy overachieving, they enjoy having a lot of responsibility, you know, whatever it may be. And I am definitely guilty of all of these things and so very guilty of taking on way more than I can handle. But the problem with doing that is that when you do that, then you leave less space for yourself. It's usually at the detriment of your own mental health and your own happiness. There's a metaphor for this um, from a book that I read, like how full is your bucket? So you think of your bucket as like your mental capacity, your emotional capacity, what you have to give to the world. And you know, say your friend needs help. So you pour a little bit out of your bucket into their bucket to help them. And you know, your boss needs you to come in a little bit of extra time. So you pour a little bit into your boss's bucket and you pour some into your parents' bucket because they need something and you pour some but some of it into some stranger's bucket because you know for whatever reason until all of a sudden your bucket is empty and you have nothing and you have done nothing for yourself you know you had all these things you were supposed to do for yourself didn't do them because you're so busy helping everybody else and although you know you were kind to do those acts and things for other people when they needed your help you're not being kind to yourself and therefore you're not being an enlightened person and you're actually harming yourself. And I know a big part, especially of like the practice of witchcraft is serving others. You, although you do do magic for yourself, you also do it for your community and for your loved ones in hopes to elevate the existence of everybody because we are all one connected consciousness. So, but just because serving others is a key element to the practice serving yourself 
should always come first because you are not going to be able to function as that healer, as that friend and that lover, as the genuine enlightened person that you hope to show up as for these people and for yourself in the world every day. You're not gonna be able to do that if you don't have the space to honor your authentic self first. Or another way that you may be overextending yourself is within the hobbies and activities that you do. And I'm gonna touch a little bit on to like why I feel hustle culture is so problematic. Social media tells you you should have five hobbies, six streams of incomes, that you should meditate, you should journal, you should exercise regularly. And so if you do, you do all of the things because social media says if you do this, you will be rich and you will be happy. You will have money, it'll all just flow to you. And so I, you know, I subscribed to this fun little newsletter of self-improvement and that's what I was doing. I was waking up every morning at like 7 a.m. and I would journal and then I would meditate and I would do my yoga practice and I would eat a nice balanced breakfast. Like I would literally like every day just check out the boxes of every single hobby that I enjoy. And it just got to a point where I just didn't enjoy it anymore. Like I was, I was so stressed. I remember calling my mom and being like, I don't, I don't understand. Like I am doing all that I can. I'm meditating, I'm doing yoga, I'm journaling. Like I don't understand why I'm so sad. I don't understand why all of this stuff isn't doing anything to make it better. She's like, well, maybe you're doing too much. Like maybe you're putting too much pressure on yourself to do all these things. And I was like, no, no way. <laughs> but I think she was right now. In fact, I know she was right. She's always right, obviously. She's my mom, like when our mom's wrong, never. Um, I was, I was putting way too much pressure on myself thinking that I had to do all these things and be this specific person to be somebody who was good or enlightened or, you know, on the correct path. I was subscribing into hustle culture for sure. And it was kicking my ass. <laughs> like I just was not doing well. And yeah, my mental health just got to a point where I was really, really bad. And I put my practices on pause in part to work on myself and to feel happy again, in part because I didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> That's the truth of it. I really wanted to make this video because I have seen a lot of people expressing concerns that if they aren't, you know, showing up and doing spells every day or yoga every day or whatever it is that you choose, that they are bad witches or bad spiritualists. And that's just not true. In fact, the most spiritual and magical thing that you can actually do is to show up and honor yourself every day and to be true to yourself. And if you wake up and the truth of yourself today is like, mm -mm, yoga isn't it, then by honoring that and not doing yoga and doing something else instead that maybe still gets you active or maybe still calms you down and make, brings you into the mind-body connection, you are being your enlightened self. Now that's the thing I think a lot of people struggle to realize about witchcraft and spirituality is that it really isn't about following a code of conduct or a book or coming and, you know, reading your tarot cards every day. Like it's just about honoring yourself to the best of your ability. Spiritual awakenings are incredibly difficult and painful and messy, and they are often highlighted by loss, loneliness, and struggle. So if you're on your spiritual journey and you're in your awakening and all that stuff, and it's been really hard for you, even going through all this mental turmoil from all this change and all this loss, it is more than okay to step away for a second and just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna be content in where I am on my journey right now for like a little bit. And then you can always come back. Just because you're just because you're stepping away from a bit doesn't mean that you're done. It just means that you need a pause. I think there's a lot of realizations that you come to in your spiritual awakening, not only about yourself, but about the people around you and about the world that are really hard to face because it's just sad. It's really sad and it makes you feel really lonely. 
So please, if you need a break, this is your permission slip to take that break. Just allow yourself to exist in the beautiful moment that you have been granted because it is never coming back. This moment right now is never coming back. You are never gonna be this young again. You are never gonna be in this season of life again. So I think it's super important to just take time to enjoy that moment and be grateful for it. And I just wanna say as somebody who lives with multiple mental illnesses, that you are not broken. And do not let anybody ever tell you or convince you that you are. You are not glass that has been shattered and needs to be fixed and glued back together. You are an intricate system of nerves and tissue and organs and blood and bones. And so many things had to happen for you to be here now. So many people had to meet, so many instances had to occur for you to be here right now you were meant to be here just as you are the universe has aligned itself to welcome you and to be here with you on this journey it loves you for who you are in this moment right now completely and wholly and it doesn't ask you to be any different in fact all it asks for you is to embrace who you are in this moment, who you are truly. That's all, really. <laughs> I just really want you to care for yourself and to be that guardian for yourself now that you wish you had had all those years ago when you were young and innocent and needed the protection and it'll all be okay. I want to thank you for sharing this moment with me. It's very special. Have a wonderful week.